rock hard hits, the rock and roll guitar jam. Hey there guys, this is Rock Hard Riffs, the rock and roll guitar channel for the self-taught. This is our first video for 2021, kind of cool. We have made several videos, guys, of this particular pedal and many others and other amps and guitars, etc. Have a look in our playlists for this in particular under pedal demos. And you'll see quite a few videos about the Digitech Trio and, again, several other pedals. And if you like what we do, guys, please subscribe. We'd really appreciate that. Okay, guys, we are going over what's known as the song mode. We ha I don't think we've touched on that before. And this is really one of the coolest things that this pedal done it does. It's so fantastic. Now, check it out. I'm going to press this button right here that says Song. And there on the style... Uh, knob there you see all these red lights those are saved songs okay just like what you see up here okay this is a saved song I was working on some scorpions that I'm gonna cover at some point here and that's what beat you were hearing there at the beginning of the video so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over how to create the song and how to sequence the different bits what's kinda cool is when you go to create a part they don't have to be in order, like number one is number one section, number two is two section, etc. Nope, you could have created this, say, let me turn this the guitar up a little bit and you can hear it. Now let's say we've got that, but we forgot we wanted to create an intro. Okay, so we could just go press number three here. So let's go ahead and create a track. Now I'm going to show you something here that's really neat. I'm going to press and hold number three. What that's going to do is it's going to give me a little click track of the beat of the rest of the song. So then after that, I'm just going to, off the top of my head, I'm just going to create a little intro. Then I'm going to sequence it so it is the first part, and that'll be what's coming right up. So let's go ahead. I'm going to press three and hold it. And there's that beat. And it's going to keep doing that. Uh, until I press it'll be ready to record so this is giving me the beat of the prior track which is all the same thing I can play won't make any difference until I hit this button and then it's gonna record it so I can mess with this So let's do it. Okay, now I'm going to use my foot on this little foot switch that I have next to this. And when I'm ready, I'm going to uh, hit that button and I'm going to play that little intro bit. Two, one, two, three, four. So now let's take that. Okay, so I've given it more of a rock beat. Now, let's sequence it, okay? So I'm going to press the sequence button and I'm going to hold it and it's going to start flashing. Okay, and then I'm going to sequence how many times I want that particular part to play, then which other part I want it to play next and what's following after that, etc. Now you see this one that's red. Okay, I can do that with all of these. What that does is it accentuates the beat. Okay, so you can use the same beat, say, on two tracks, but accentuate one of them, and it sounds a little bit different. But let's go ahead and sequence everything. I'm going to press and hold this, and it should be blinking. There we go, perfect. Now I'm going to resequence this. I'm going to throw in that intro, and that's track three. Then I'll press track one once, pre uh, press track two once, and then back to one. So. We want the intro first, that's one. We want the second. We're gonna follow that third and then we're gonna go back to the first part first. Press sequence. There, and it's telling us exactly what sequence it's gonna play. And I'm going to throw in the guitar myself with the intro, okay? That's 
pre-recorded. So when you see that light flashing, that's going to be coming up next. As far as here, not here, over here. That's it. So that's how it's done. It's very simple, guys. Again, you just go to song, like I did. Then you choose whichever one. If the thing is empty, then you're just going to start on one, right? And uh, it'll look just like this. It'll be a, like a red, as long as it's pointed at it, right? See, it's highlighting which one that I'm turning to, okay? If this were just the first song, it'd be right there. And then I press this, and it's ready to go. Then I'm going to start recording what I want on each track, okay? And then you're going to sequence it just like I showed you before. But uh, that's it. That's how you use the song feature. Please ask any questions if I haven't covered something, if there's something I left out, which I'm sure there is. Don't be afraid to ask in the comment section. And uh, guys, uh, please subscribe again if you like what we do. Again, there are several other videos about this really cool pedal. Check it out again in Pedal Demos. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate it, and we'll see you next video.